Dustin Jarrett off at turn four. The 25 lapper underway at Knoxville Raceway. They fire in that Nutriang Solution starting zone. Chat Simpson and Jonathan Davenport lead him into turns one and two. And you see Simpson bobble just a little bit. Davenport out front at 49. Uh, you know the drill, James. When he gets out front on these big tracks in clean air, he can be very hard to beat. As you see, Hudson O'Neill down to the inside of Dylan McCowan. Those two drivers make contact. Move Hud up to third. McCowan about a back. They go side to side into turn number two. As an issue for O'Neill, gets out of shape, gets back around McCowan. Down the back straightaway, Davenport opening up a lead here. On lap number two, Chad Simpson, the current Lucas Oil and Mallory points center, way high in third four. And here comes O'Neill down the straightaway. Well, Chad Simpson got out of shape, and now O'Neill for second in turn number two, Dustin. Side by side right now for position number two. Jonathan Davenport by a mile out front early in this one, but a good battle behind him. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all right there together. Chad Simpson hanging on to position number two. Hudson O'Neill, here comes Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce, first time here in that Longhorn. Again, he was not here a year ago. He'll battle on the inside of Dylan McCowan down the back straightaway. And A. McCowan, the only driver to run every summer Nationals race here in 2024 with Jonathan Davenport trying to equal Jimmy Owens with 82 career wins leads at a turn one with four complete. Second, third, fourth, fifth, all right there together. It seems like a very common theme that we say. Take the 49 out of the mix and you've got yourselves a whale of a race from second on back. Simpson turning back to challenges. How about Dylan McCowan? A good run in the eight. He's going for second. The Urbana, Missouri driver in a turn coming off a of turn number three and there here comes O'Neill. They bunch in, O'Neill throwing it in on McCowan. He's going for second, man, they are going at it here. Chad Simpson, Hudson O'Neill, Dylan McCallan, Bobby Pierce, great race for second in a turn one eight scored. That is a phenomenal battle for the second spot and it happens four seconds behind Jonathan Davenport. Pierce to the inside of McCowan, O'Neill to the inside of Simpson, oh baby, and Pierce may not be done yet, two for the price of one. Simpson gets shuffled back to fifth. Right there in the turn oh, one. It's 4.2 seconds, but now Davenport will pick up the tail end of the field. You know the issues he's had with traffic the last few years out in front. Off at turn four. The advantage again last time was 4.219. This time at the loop line is 3.6. They have taken nearly a second and a half off Davenport's advantage change in the last three laps. Well, the last race you and I did at Eldora, we had a record eight lead change during the World 100, and we got a car slowing off at turn number four off the pace. Right in front of your leader down the main straightaway is Daniel Ilzebeck as we stay green, and that'll cost Davenport. And now here comes O'Neill and here comes Pierce. They got to get around Hilsebeck. Daniel Hilsebeck off the pace down the back straightaway, Dustin. He's going to try to nurse the 22 to the inside of the racetrack and out of harm's way. He's been able to make it to the inside of the speedway. We'll see if we stay under green flag race here. If we have our first Dave Warren Power Sports caution, Davenport stays out front. Now the lead just 1.7 seconds over the battle for second on your screen between Hudson O'Neill and Bobby Pierce. 14 score, 11 to go. Cowan fourth, Moran fifth, and it's McCree. Gustin, Chad Simpson has fallen back to eighth. Carson Ferguson, Max Blair runs in a left. Oh, and we got an accident at turn oh. four. And somebody got in the back of the 99 of Boom Briggs, Matt Furman. And the first Dave Warren Power Sports caution on the racetrack, Dustin Jarrett. Max Blair, 10th, the Nutrient Act Solutions restart zone. 11 to go on a Thursday night in Iowa. Boy, you saw the tail end of the 71 kind of whip around there. You thought maybe HUD didn't get as good of a restart as he wanted, but instead he does. He slides up the racetrack in front of Pierce to lay stake on that second spot. Pierce, though, going to try to get a run down the back straight away. You see just how good that 49 is on these restarts. James, as here comes Pierce down to the inside. He'll take second away from HUD oh, with man. 10 to go. What a year. What a move. 32, Bobby Pierce. It's eight tenths of a second. We still have 10 laps to go. The last time we saw Bobby Pierce, you and I here on flow, he won the World 100, and right now he eyes Jonathan Davenport down the main straightaway, nine to go. Nine laps to go in this one. Davenport, Pierce, Hutt, your top three cars right now. McCready fifth, and here comes Bobby Pierce. Here comes Pierce, Dustin, down the straightaway to turn one as this one gets near the end. Two to go this time by, and they may catch the tail end of the field. We know the ticker is off uh, in terms of laps. For those of you watching at home, they're 
coming around to the Barons' performance. One to go this time. Does the 32 have anything for the 49? Barons' performance, one to go for Jonathan Davenport. It's lightning off the back straight away. We're going to get it in tonight. Off at turn number two, Davenport down the back straight away. Pierce too far back to throw a slider. And it looks like Jonathan Davenport's going to lead wire to wire, Dustin, for his 82nd career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series. Jonathan Davenport will win night one here in the 20th annual Lucas Oil Late Model Knoxville Nationals, presented by Your Life Iowa.